Toxic anterior segment syndrome, TOS, an endotoxin contamination is not welcome scenario for the ophthalmic community. A CQ development team took the challenge and worked with experts from around the world in designing instruments. The team worked with a leading microbiology lab to prove TAS and endotoxin contamination can be reduced and eliminated with a new innovative design, and this was proved successfully. I'm Dr. Nick Mamalas. I'm from the John Moran Eye Center of the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. Although I'm a general ophthalmologist, I specialize in intraocular lenses, their complications in intraocular lens research, as well as inflammatory diseases and inflammation that can affect the eye following anterior segment surgery. My name is Eduardo Viteri. I work in Guayaquil, Ecuador, and I'm working on my practice in ophthalmology, specifically segment anterior and cornea, since 1987. TAS, or Toxic Anterior Segment Syndrome, is an acute sterile inflammatory reaction that occurs following any anterior segment surgery. The causes of TAS are varied, and they can vary from anything involving the cleaning and sterilization of instruments to problems with products or medications used during the surgery. The FDA has concern about TAS because it can cause a uh, sterile inflammation following cataract surgery. What we found when we've looked at cases of TAS over the last six years is that problems with instrument cleaning and sterilization are by far the most common entity associated with TAS. Some of the causes of TAS that we found in the past have been related to difficulties with contamination of various products used during cataract surgery with endotoxins. In fact, when we did our studies, we found that almost 80% of the cases of TAS could be related to problems with instrument cleaning and sterilization. So therefore, it's imperative to come up with a way to adequately clean instruments that are going to be used in ophthalmic surgery. This includes handpieces, cannulated instruments of any kind. Una preocupación importante en cirugía, sobre todo al trabajar en, eh, en volúmenes importantes, es el, eh, la posibilidad de un eh, síndrome inflamatorio agudo de segmento anterior, o conocido como TAS. Uno de los factores que inciden en el desarrollo es conocido eh, como lo, por los residuos que quedan en los instrumentos entre un procedimiento y otro, o entre una sesión y otra. The symptoms of TAS are usually seen acutely after any anterior segment surgery, meaning within the first 12 to 48 hours after surgery. There will be an intense blurred vision with possibility of pain, although pain is not really common. Pain is seen in less than 25% of the patients with TAS. So the most common symptom is very blurred vision, uh, mild pain, irritation in the eye. What the ophthalmic industry has done when you're looking at TAS is they've tried to find out if there are outbreaks of TAS, if they're related to a particular product, and then if so, what they can do to get to the bottom of what caused the actual inflammation with that particular product. ASICO has come up with a way to identify a residual material that's left within a handpiece or within a cannulated instrument by using a radio labeled method, and this is a good method to show how adequate the cleaning of a handpiece would be. And they were able to show with that that in spite of adequate flushing of a handpiece, you still have some residual material that can be left in the handpiece that could then theoretically lead to problems with TAS. One of the ways that you can try to ensure adequate cleaning of an instrument is to allow the instrument to come apart or allow adequate flushing of material through that instrument. And ASICO has, has come up with designs which allow us to adequately flush the instrument. And this is important in both an injector, when you're using an injector to put something into the eye, and especially with an irrigation aspiration or IA handpiece. La mayoría de los instrumentos, como cuchilletes o pinzas, pueden ser aseados en su superficie, pero hay otros, como los mangos de las cánulas o los inyectores de los lentes intraoculares, que tienen cavidades difíciles de acceder. Por lo tanto, los nuevos eh, eh, desarrollos en eh, instrumentos que sean completamente eh, desarmables para poder limpiar interna y externamente todas sus superficies nos ayudan a minimizar el riesgo de residuos en los cuales 
puedan proliferar gérmenes o sustancias tóxicas que produzcan tardíamente eh, inflamación intraocular que comprometa eh, la visión de nuestros pacientes. The Asico Royal 3 Cleaning Injector, catalog number AE9063 CSP, is designed to completely disassemble for a thorough cleaning. To disassemble, first turn the knob until it is freed from the main body and separate. To clean the tubular portion, use a fiber-free sterile cleaning swab to clean the inner surface of the injector. When disassembled, the plunger body should be retracted to prevent any damage to the plunger. The problem when you're trying to clean, especially an irrigation aspiration handpiece, is that you don't have adequate access to that handpiece in order to flush it out properly. And so if you've got a way that you can have a an, an handpiece or an injector that can come apart that can allow adequate cleaning, that will allow the, uh, you to completely remove either cortical material or residual OVD or viscoelastic within that instrument that will then keep it from drying in there and keep it from potentially causing tasks when that instrument is used again. To reassemble the Royal 3 cleaning injector, first align the guide pin to the guide pin slot. Slide the guide pin until the knob of the injector is in contact with the body and screw in the knob until it is fastened securely. After assembly, place the protection cap on the plunger tip. The new Royal 3 um, single hand plunging injector, which actually uh, allows you to clean the inside of the injector uh, properly, um, I think it's really a wonderful innovation. This injector has really addressed all the cleaning concerns that I had because, you know, the old injector didn't allow us to properly clean within that barrel. And in fact, I noticed something about this injector. It seems to actually seem uh, to deliver the lens more safely into the eye. It moves down the cartridge in a more controlled manner. So I've, I've really been very, very pleased with this new instrument. Então, quando a gente está utilizando um injetor é, de rosca, então muitas vezes o olho começa a se mover para longe da nossa visão. Então, a grande vantagem do é, da seringa é justamente conseguir fazer a injeção com uma mão e segurar o outro e de uma maneira bem tranquila. For implanting the posterior chamber lens, I use the Royal uh, single-handed injector, which is, I think, very good. And uh, for smaller uh, wounds, you can uh, use it as a wound-assisted uh, technology. Of course, but with larger uh, wounds, you can use it as you used it before. So I think it's uh, suitable and uh, and uh, no problem during the surgery. Personalmente, prefiero una técnica de hidroimplante de lente intraocular utilizando el inyector Royal eh, de Asico que me da un excelente control en, el, en la introducción del lente por incisiones de 2.2 milímetros hasta dioptrías de hasta lentes de poder de 24 dioptrías. The Asico Cleaning IA handpiece, catalog number AE70029, also disassembles for a thorough cleaning. To disassemble, we separate the tip and inner lumen part from the body. The disassembled parts can be cleaned by flushing thoroughly with distilled water. To clean the tubular portion, use a fiber-free sterile cleaning swab on the inner surface of the handpiece.
A smaller swab can be used to clean the surface of the disassembled tip. A swab can also be used to clean the inner lumen. To reassemble, we simply reattach the tip and inner lumen parts to the body. The Asico Cleaning IA handpiece is compatible with all threaded IA tips. When I'm looking into the future and I'm looking at, at TAS management, one of the important issues is ways to prevent TAS in the first place. And as I said, there's about an 80% incidence that we found of TAS being related to instrument cleaning and sterilization. And so I think it's imperative for surgical centers to adequately follow directions for use when they're cleaning the instrument. But I also think it's important for the industry and the, the manufacturers of the various hand pieces and instruments used in cataract surgery to come up with adequate ways to allow surgeons and surgical center staffs to clean these instruments. I appreciate very much um, the open ears from the company because um, in Germany we have very, very strict rules about cleaning of all our instruments and it becomes more and more problematic also in, in, in Great Britain and in the whole Europe, also now, also in the United States. What we have, we have always very small instruments, we have um, instruments which have uh, small holes and sometimes it can happen that you have um, protein there, um, you can't clean it really and um, then you put it in the wash washing machine and the sterilization and still you have a, let's say, sterile dirt and we don't like it. With the new system what uh, ASICO offers us is that we can really open the instruments and can see what is there. So all the endotoxin um, rest which will sometimes rest in the instruments will disappear because we can wash it now. When I was working with the ASICO team on potential TOSH related issues, I found that they were very responsive to the issues of adequate cleaning of the hand pieces, especially the irrigation aspiration hand pieces or injector hand pieces. And they were very good at not only looking at potential ways of measuring any residual material within a hand piece, but also trying to come up with designs of hand pieces that will allow adequate flushing and adequate cleaning of these hand pieces to prevent a buildup of material which would then secondarily prevent TAS. Contact a SECO today for more information on TAS prevention and the cleaning series of instruments. A SECO, where today's precision is tomorrow's vision.